and welcome back to Cooking It Real. I'm Kathy, here with my handsome son-in-law, Caleb, once again. And today what we're gonna be doing is sausage biscuits, right? Yeah, thank <laughs> Is that long pause? What are we doing? Yeah, yeah sausage biscuits. And uh, because Caleb is a pro chef, he just doesn't go to the store and pick up a little chub of sausage. No, no, no. He has to make his own. He likes to make his own. And I can tell you that it is delicious. And we gotta do a little bit of prep in the in the front. So Caleb's gonna start by cubing up these country style ribs and we gotta get them in the freezer, right? Yes. So we can grind them when they're partially frozen, right? That's it. Go for it, All right. I usually just buy a pork shoulder, take it off the bone. Basically, you want some, some pork with some fat. And then I just cut it into pieces that are gonna fit into your food processor. Oh yeah. When they're cut. So will that work? Will I that think grind so. Up? I think so. I haven't seen your food processor. It's a monster. Oh, well then good. Then I don't even know why I'm bothering with cutting these. <laughs> just to take the bones out. Yeah. yeah. You said, well. Well, a monster would do the bones, right? It's up to you. You're the boss, boss. Wise guy. Yeah, this is good. Hot action right here. Now, if I save those bones, can I make stock out of them? Sure, you can. I'm definitely gonna do that, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna get a bowl right now. Yeah. Look at that. A lot of times, if you buy them already cut like this at the store, mm -hmm. they just take a chunk of meat. The bones when they just run through a bad sauce, even if they're little tiny pieces, but you can see. Yeah. It, uh, it's just a cut that runs solid. So you gotta be careful to get all of those out. That one's good. That one's good. I think you need to cut those a little bit though for I'm, the food process. Uh, yeah, I will. I'm just getting okay. the bones out. Is this <clears> the <throat> first time we've worked together? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you've asked me that? <laughs> You're very intuitive. Yes. <laughs> I hear the energy is weird today. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting weirder. Okay. It's just, is this what you said? You yeah. Somewhere? Is this the first time you all have worked together? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> a disembodied voice is that from the other side of the veil. I don't know. Hello? No, actually it's not. The first time we worked together in the kitchen was when we did the ginger snaps, remember? Was it? I think that was the first time, wasn't it? Well, you don't. Know. I don't know. I'm just a disembodied head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, you can perfect. save those bones. I'll take them right in here. Your bone bowl. Put them in the friggy. Yep. In the friggy air. Slam them out, space them so they get a little frozen. Okay. Hey, I'll How cut. long you think? I'll go ahead and cut this one. Okay. How long you think they should be in the freezer? <clears throat> 35, 40 minutes, 47, something like that. Okay. Just long enough to firm up so that they don't just get chewed up in the blah. In the blades. In the blah. All right, in they go. Yeah, paste. Cranberries. Uh, if you want, sure. No, stop it. You said cranberries would make them more pectiny. Yeah, otherwise we just have to add a little more sugar and let them go a little longer. Why? I, what else do you You act like you've never been in a kitchen before and improvised a little bit. Okay. Sorry, strict <laughs> recipes. Oh, Okay, how about we measure it by this? Pint. One pound. One pound. And a few of these. A few. <laughs> okay. What kind of sugar do you want? White sugar, brown sugar? Sweet, sweet sugar. Hey, we're back. <laughs> All right. So while the sausage is in the freezer, uh, getting ready, we're going to throw together some fruit jam for the biscuits. Because, why not, right? This is just take cutting up some strawberries. Uh, you can use any type of berry. Blueberries, blackberries. Mix them all up. Whatever you like. I like to add some cranberry to it. It's got a little extra pectin. Makes it a little more jammy. And then other than that, sugar and water. And... Lemon juice to season. Cut that. Cut that. Yeah. 
Do I need to put a dollar on the table <laughs> to up the production value no, of this thing? Maybe next time. All right. All right. Okay, so jam's working. What next? Don't you have to put the sugar in it? In the lemon juice? Yeah, in a minute. We'll let it, turn we'll it, let it on? We'll let it get. That's the magic of time. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> here make some biscuits all right all right we're having biscuits we're having sausage we're having jam sausage and jam with biscuits jam it up jam it up baby now you're gonna make two different kinds of biscuits right yes I am going to show you how to make two different kinds of biscuits well someone has to because I don't know how to make a biscuit I've never made a biscuit I'm a Yankee sorry I believe that I'm a Yankee I'm a Yankee my baker hated me yeah because I would make biscuits and... Just guess? I'm not guessing. That wasn't a guess. That was a precise measurement. Oh, okay. But I think that... She wants the way things weighed. Oh, and yeah. And I'm like, nah. So that they are by... completely replicable every single time, right? They, they were completely exactly perfect every single time when I do it. And that's want? buttermilk. Yep. Kind of make like a well here. Seems like a lot. It does. Start with that. But this one, I just stir it kind of in from the sides. Just makes it easy to mix it together. This is the butter swim biscuit. Swim biscuit. Which I think is a weird name, but that's okay. Why do they call it a swim biscuit? It swims in butter, I guess. Oh, well, that makes sense. But it's more of a batter than a dough. And uh, we need to melt that butter. How, uh, half, half a stick? Actually, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, half a, uh, no, a stick. This is where it's uh, specifically measured baking soda. Kind of, sort of. And same with the powder. Tablespoon. Garlic is over there. That's garlic from our garden. It looks small, but it's really good. Garlic? From garlic the garden. from the garden. And I'll grate the cheese. How much cheese do you think? Approximately. Uh, two thirds of a cup, something like that. Two thirds of a cup? Okay. Yeah, how cheesy do you like it? Oh, I like it wicked cheesy. Well, then a cup. Favorite thing in the world is peeling garlic. Oh. But I like the fresh garlic. Yeah, it can be sweeter. You can make it toasted nice. Things like that. Dry garlic is kind of just like a punch in the face garlic every time. I wasn't watching, I was grating cheese. Yeah, I put sugar in it. 
How about start, this for cheese? It'll start clicking. Good? Sure. How much is that? Uh, two thirds of a cup. Did you measure it exactly? Yes, I did. There we go. Now, it's two thirds of a cup. <laughs> Probably check the recipe, but Turn that bowl a little bit. Oh, you pour the whole thing in. Yeah, no, it's up. Huh. Batter. Kind of makes like a cake, but yeah. a biscuit. Biscuit cake. What should we have our oven on? Oh yeah. Uh, like four hundred <laughs> degrees, four twenty five. Throw it somewhere around there. How about four fifteen? Perfect. Look at you. Huh? Adapting. Compromise. Swimming. Swimming. Wow. Can you see that? Let's see. Can you see that? Look how it's swimming in the butter. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. This just helps so that it cuts a little easier once it's cooked. You wouldn't think it would, but it no, does. No, you wouldn't think it would. We shall see. There you go. I love it. That's ready for the oven. Once it preheats, then we'll be ready. Let me charge here. That should have been heated. That oven should have been hot when Where's we got our production there. assistant? She fired. <laughs> she sure. fired. Where's the producer? And now you're going to make the other regular biscuits, right? Non yep. non swimming. Just biscuits. Plain old. Plain old. Country biscuits. Country biscuits. So we them. They only swim in the creek. <laughs> and we're back with Keeping It Kathy. <laughs> we're keeping it real. Food is for tasting. Cooking it real. Huh? We're cooking it real. We're cooking. Cook, cooking it real. Yeah. Cooking is the deal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For this biscuit, two cups of flour. Say, what do you think? Uh, tablespoon? Let's do a teaspoon of okay. baking soda. Let's do that to start. All right. And then hmm, we'll put a little bit more in there, um, you know, for the uh, for the kids. Okay. Where's her grins? Where's that baking powder? Where's the baking powder? Right there. I can't find it. It's right there. I'll look in that book. All right, this one. A tablespoon. That's a heaper. And again, you know, for the children. Okay. Thank you. Yup. And then stir that around. Teaspoon? Yeah. I'll, I'll need that spoon. How many spoon. spoons are you going to need today? How many? Give me, a, give me a cup and a half. See what that looks like. All right, one and a half. Just pour it in and stir it around. You want me to pour it in? Oh, I think you can handle this one. I might be able to. You can do it. And then grab that little spoon. Should I just pour it all? Dump it in there. Alright. So, I get some flour. And I go kind of side to side. Mm -hmm. It's all about. Because mm -hmm. if you just, just dump a pile of it, you know, you're going to end up with a pile of flour. You're going to look like an amateur. You're going to look like an amateur. <laughs> then I'll make sure i got flour on my hands so that it doesn't stick to me so much. Yeah, that's a lot of milk, buttermilk. Probably could have. But like I said, will you take about uh, plenty of that? Yeah. Just cover it. Cover it good. More? Yeah. And it'll just come together. While we're doing that, give me some more. Nice. Okay. And then, like I said, I have a perfect baker's technique. <laughs> and I just kind of flatten it out, fold it, add flour to it if I need, square it off. The more you fold it, the more flakes you're going to get, but if you push it too hard and overwork it, then you're going to develop all that gluten and they won't rise and they'll be dense and chewy. Yeah. And nobody wants a dense 
chewy biscuit. Unless you're KFC. <laughs> That looks pretty good. What do you think? I like it. Now, do we need to like grease that pan or anything? Nope. Okay. Grease is for chumps. <laughs> How thick do you want them? Um, Something like one big biscuit? No. Just kind of like that? No. You don't think so? No. No. Okay. Make them how you made them on Thanksgiving. That was ages ago. Well, they were the best biscuits All right, I ever had. Where's that biscuit cutter? Flower that a little bit. Should have flowered it more. Look at that, perfect. So yeah, just cut them out. Make sure they're against each other. Because if they are close to their family, then they grow up nice and tall. Aww. If you separate them, they don't get as tall and strong. Aww, that's so sweet. Well, Oh, misfits. Oh, pudgy little losers. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Then they get made fun of. Yeah. They're terrible. outcasts. Poor things. Bless their hearts. We didn't put on a timer for those swim biscuits. Oh, that's okay. What time did we put them in? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? No. Watch them. Okay. That's another restaurant seeker right there. Yeah, forget the timer. Yeah, put that one in your professional vault. I will. Look at that. That looks almost just like the other ones. Beauty. Look at that. Woo, excellent. Perfect. And now excellent. those just go in just like that. Okay. Um, I know you're watching them, but how long do you think? About 20, 20 minutes. Okay. All right, so now you're gonna make your sausage. Yep. These have been in the freezer for like an hour, maybe? Yeah, they can go 45 minutes, an hour, just, just enough to get them firm. Okay, is this a good, you think they're ready? I think they're ready. All right, let's do it. All right, so first, just kind of do these a few at a time. Just don't want to overcrowd. Describe these while I finish this. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have a collection of herbs and spices that are going to be going into our sausage. We have, <laughs> we have fresh sage. Fresh sage for my garden. We have oregano. This is thyme. Black pepper. And cayenne pepper with the little <clears throat> secret. Ooh, not a secret ingredient. Forget I said that. <laughs> But there is a little secret, secret ingredient. All right, that's and then salt too, right? Salt is. I haven't good. salted it yet. Okay. Because you know, why? Why would I? All right. But I'm just gonna do this. Everybody in the pool. Everybody, get in there. You didn't have any smaller bowls, did you? Uh, no. No? Okay. Just ask it. They're with my spoons. <laughs> They're up in heaven. I think that's the perfect size bowl. That's perfect. Everyone can see what's going on. Yeah. That's exactly why I'm doing it. Is that bowl. why you're doing yeah. it like that? Yeah, I'm seasoned for for for. Oops. <clears throat> we had a dog. <laughs> gonna put like an egg in there or anything no I, I, I can tell from that side eye that the answer is no 
I showed you the list of ingredients. That's true. No, By the way, this is you're you're making conversation. Yes, I'm for just... for the camera. <laughs> yes. You're speaking to the camera. Yes, I'm trying to engage our audience. Who's gonna watch this? I don't know. All right, this is one way to do it, and there you go. Too much. It just you know how that prepackaged sausage just is just really dense. Yeah. And like overworked. Yeah. It's if like you're mush. making fresh sausage, I want to texture it. It leaves it more like a like a burger or something. It's more. That makes just, sense. You can see nicer. all the pieces parts. You can see all the pieces. You get, yeah. Have you ever had a nice andouille that's still got like chunks of meat in it as well? Yeah, I've never. I don't know. Just say yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I have that that way all the time. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Now the sausage is ready. We'll just pat that out and put it in the frying pan, just like. Just like you would. Awesome. All right, we'll do that next. That way, they'll stay flatter. Oh. Is that a pro tip? Yep. All right. You can deliver that you heard to your there. audience. I don't look like yours. Well, I wouldn't expect them to on your first try. All right. <laughs> the right answer. They're beautiful. They're perfect. Just like you. Hey, you know y'all got squirrels? Yes. All right, Kathy. Hmm? <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> and three, two. Uh, so hot skillet, put a little bit of oil in. And now I'm just gonna... This is your ASMR video. Garlic Parmesan Butter Swim Biscuits. And then we'll just cut like where we cut before. And it's time for the big reveal. And this is the part where if they don't look good, we just return it over to the camera. Got right. it. Oh, they're beautiful. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Footage lost. Oh, yeah. Ooh. moment of truth. Ooh. Ooh, look at How about that? that? Ooh. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I can smell the garlic. Yeah. There you go. Mm. See, it gets that nice golden kind of crusty edge. Yeah. Uh, Are these taste buttery without adding butter? Yeah. Ooh, can we try some? I mean, we did add butter. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, without buttering it. Yeah, after let's the fat. try them. This is what we do in the biz. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's good. What do you that do? garlic. Adding garlic? Genius. Parmesan, nice work. Mm. All right, the jam's ready. Ooh, that looks great. So I'm gonna just take it off the heat and we can let it cool and then we'll put it in something. So what are you doing now, Kathy? I'm opening up my funnel, Caleb. I'll set that in here so I don't spill it all over the counter. 
should be able to do it. Ooh, look at that eyes. Look at that. Oh, perfect. That's how I do things. <laughs> They're flaky. They're flaky. Dig in. Can I take this perfect one? Yeah. It's for that heel. I'm going to cut it in half. Sure. Sure, if you're going to do it like a rookie. Ooh. It's hot. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. <laughs> Oh, it's spicy. Oh, it's a mess. That's not a salty biscuit. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I love all the herbs you can see. All the green in it. So pretty. A lot of cayenne pepper though. <laughs> A little jam on it? Mm -hmm. I don't use hard and fast recipes. No, I notice that about you. Hard and fast. <laughs> mm. Ooh, so pretty. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's a ticket. <laughs> That sweetness immediately kind of uh, calms down the heat mm -hmm. and um, balances it, I might say. Now, I don't know if I'd be able to make biscuits next time by myself, but <laughs> I give it a try. I could always call you and say, how much Am I supposed to add? And you'd say, how much do you want to add? I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's not mine. <laughs> you like it with the jam? Oh, yeah, for sure. And it would just get jammier as it cools, of course. Mm -hmm. mm. Nailed it. Perfect. Thank you. Awkward high five. <laughs> Awkward fist bump.